I have one more award to present this morning, and it's been six years since a recipient has been honored with this particular award. The Achievement Through Adversity Award was first introduced in 2016, and true to its namesake, honors those that have overcome significant adversity to achieve truly great successes. Today we are honored to have with us a woman who has exemplified this quality her entire life. Whether battling her own body, her surroundings, or an opponent on the pool table, she has time and time again found a way to overcome tremendous odds while building her own global brand. After decades of overcoming the odds, she embarked on the most challenging battle of her life in January of 2021, when she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, a battle she continues to fight today. Her story has been told many times. Most recently, it was the subject of a 30 for 30 documentary on ESPN. Once again, we are honored to have her here with us today and blessed to be able to call her one of our own. Your Achievement Through Adversity Award winner this year is the Black Widow, our friend, and your fellow league operator, Jeanette Lee. so honored to be here. I'm just so excited to see so many of you again. And um, yeah, it's been a rough few years, but I can say that I'm so thankful. I'm sitting here just so thankful that I've had the opportunity to um, touch back with so many of you. You know, you, you get up, you're on tour and you stay busy, but um, God grounded me two years ago. You know, he made me stop and I take a look at my life and, and just all around me, I just felt so blessed because I have so much love. And APA was at the forefront of that, really just immediately, I mean, Greg's on the phone, Jason's on the phone, Jeff's on the phone, and they're all, how are you doing? What can we do? And I felt that support, and especially from a lot of you, uh, the messages and the emails, everything came through. And um, when I bought this league, it was, I was a hot mess. I was going through a divorce and I was going through a lot of um, health issues as I think a lot of you guys might know about through my 30 for 30. If you guys did miss the documentary that ESPN made, it's through their 30 for 30 series and you can catch it on ESPN Plus. And actually I'm flying to the Asian Film Festival in San Francisco where we're gonna, they're gonna play it again at different film festivals in the, the um, Director Ursula Liang and I get to talk about it afterwards and maybe share a little hope and spirit about Asian Americans and stop the Asian hate that's going on in this country. My children are still dealing with a lot of racism at school right now. And so, but anyway, um, special thanks to Jeff Hayes because he was so patient with me. And it was a slow process and then um, now just coming back and Jason and the entire marketing team, like Jason was saying, I mean, it, it really, they just work so hard and there's so much love and compassion that happens in that office, you know, every time I visit. And so I'm very thankful to them. And of course, I mean, just imagine if you're by yourself in a level four market and you get hit with stage four ovarian cancer and you've got three young girls, you're a single mom it's very, very scary, and um, I didn't want to lose the league, though. I mean, I, I fell in love with my players, and I wasn't doing a great job of it. I was struggling to try to balance everything and learn everything, but um, I had made two good friends, 
uh, Anthony and Stephanie Spano, who were not at all interested in buying the league. They, you know, they had considered it later. And I'm like, now please, right, right now, because I didn't know how I was gonna, I mean, you know, you gotta do score sheets, you gotta do all this other stuff, but you're also just trying to live you know, and you're sick with nausea and everything like that. And I knew that they would be a great fit if I could just convince them. And thank goodness um, they did because they've been amazing partners and very, very supportive. And um, Kevin Hinkabine, I just want to give him a little shout out because shout out, I've known him since day one. And I don't think there's ever time that I turned around and needed anything that he wasn't right there. And um, all of you guys, I just love you. I just, that's it, I just love you. So, I'm, I'm very thankful, and um, if you guys are ever going through anything, I can say from my own perspective, it's still tough. Every morning I wake up and I'm in so much pain. And the more, more important thing is to know that you're not alone, other people don't have to go through what I went through to understand what pain feels like, or loss, or doubt, you know, or worry, and all that stuff. You don't, you don't have to go through things alone. And the most important thing I go through right now is you can't live your life by just how you feel, because your feelings can deceive you. Um, the last couple of years, I was so caught up with medical stuff, I wondered if you know, I have three girls and maybe I needed to give them more attention, you know, or maybe I needed to put in more effort with the league, Tampa Bay AP, which they've got my back, they don't need me at all. They're awesome. But still, I feel, I feel that, you know, there's always more that you can do, but don't go by how you feel. Go by what you believe. When, if I go by how I feel, I won't get out of bed, right? My children are my inspiration. But no matter how much I smile and say, go forth, be brave, be strong, remember that it's not in the absence of fear. It's not waking up and not having doubts. It's in the face of it. It's in the face of just getting up and just putting one foot on the ground. And sometimes that's the most courageous thing you can do. And you don't know, but people are watching. And nobody gives respect to those who have never earned it, had everything handed to them. It's the one that have gone through things and made it to the other side. They're the ones with the voice to make a change, to be the change you want to see in the world. Right, Gandhi? You know, and so for me, I want to know that all the things that I went through meant something, that I did something good with it. And the only way I can do that is to get the hell out of bed when you just feel like you can't, you know? So just remember to, to stay strong and to know that you're not alone and to thank you for all of the prayers. Um, God is number one in my life and, uh, well, we have a little battle sometimes, you know? <laughs> I can get a little bit selfish sometimes, but, you know, he's been there through it, through it all and so, yeah, I love you. Thank you very much. I'm very, very honored, and I hope I get to talk to you guys over the week. Bye.